Hello Aries and welcome to your April 2023 committal love reading. Aries, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other, other sign placements. Moon rising, your Venus. Um, if you're heavy in uh, Scorpio or uh, Aquarius or something like that, check those out. If you're seeking more guidance and clarity information, if you are not getting it in this reading, hopefully you will. But again, it is not a one-to-one, -one, so take what resonates, leave the rest, feel free to check your other sign placements. All right, Aries, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rudy. If you're returning, welcome back because I appreciate all your time and effort and energy so very much. And I do want to take a, a moment to wish you all a happy birthday, those that are celebrating, and also to thank all my new subscribers. I want to thank all my su subscribers, but um, absolutely everyone that has just kind of came along for the ride. So welcome, welcome, and everybody say hi to everybody, right? All right, guys. Here we go. This side's you, this side's your partner. Sometimes there's blurred lines. I try, you know, if you have more than one partner, you will have to figure out uh, who this is for or look at their readings or their sign, you know, for their sign. Overall energy for this reading is security. This tells me you feel safe and secure in this relationship. I also feel that you are, um, you're allowing yourself to feel safe and secure in this relationship. Um, I feel with the Six of Cups energy, this could be somebody that maybe you were in a relationship before with and got back into a relationship. There's some type of um, um, nostalgia here, re-remembering here with this person. So that's a strong possibility. It could be something that you all don't talk about much or bring up much because it is subconscious energy. It is kind of put off to the side. It's not showing up in the main reading. But I do have to bring that up with the Six of Cups. Um, but I, I feel like you are... Um, I, I don't want to say falling into it, but I feel like you're falling into this security. You're falling into um, maybe allowing yourself to feel safe and secure in this relationship. Um, hmm, let's start over here. We have communication. We have devotion and intention. Um, so I just think that in this relationship, since this is for committed, your intention is to be devoted to each other. Your intention is probably going to be a long-term relationship. Um, so you're devoted to each other. Um, unless if, it, you know, however, however you see a relationship. But I just feel like this is almost a one-on-one. -on -one and that it is, um, you know, almost like... Um, a commitment, you know, making a commitment. And there's communication in this relationship. There is talk. There is uh, keeping things open. But I also see over here, um, and it could be where the communication is coming in. You have redacted and you have mirroring. And I just feel that um, obviously nobody knows everything about anybody, right? I don't, I don't care if it's your child or you've been married 40 years. You still don't know everything there is to know about that person. And it's okay to keep some things private. It's okay to keep some things to yourself. I feel the mirroring. I feel that you all get each other. I feel that you understand each other. I feel that you can, um, you know, be the ones to almost like finish each other's sentences. Know what the other one's thinking. Um pick up the phone and, and they call you, you know, that kind of energy. Um, and the redacted is, to me, it will come out when it's meant to come out. It'll come out if it needs to come out. You all communicate very well from what I see in the reading. There's a lot of communication going on. And I feel like you all are learning each other, but I also feel like um, I almost feel like this time around, if it's coming, if it's a relationship that's coming back in with the six of cups, it's, it's like, it's, it's like putting on a glove or putting on a, um, something you're really used to. It's, it's almost effortless this time around. Um, and you all just get each other is what I feel with the mirroring cards. All right. Now I do have to say that you're Aries, and this whole side is Aries, so I could have these flipped. I do have to b give a disclaimer on that. Now, your partner could be Aries also, so maybe not. You know, you all decide. Um, Ten of Swords is... 
coming out of a hard time, being done with the situation, not necessarily your partner, but coming out of a hard time, um, it can be in the relationship where, you know, boundaries are set, you saying, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm not putting up with X, Y, and Z, maybe that's how it came into the relationship, you know, um, things are going to change, I can't have things the way they were, blah, 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 but Ten of Swords tends to ending, so whatever, whatever you did worked, but you couldn't carry on the relationship as it was going on, so somebody had to change, and with that came in new communication, new ideas, new ideas of how to communicate with this person, maybe, new ideas of how to, um, to forge ahead and take action on situations to make them work in your, in your best interest for you and your partner, and you also have the Wheel of Fortune, so again, I feel like this is your time to take the chance, take the gamble. You're, you're feeling secure in the relationship. If you want to take something to the next level, this card is kind of giving you the go-ahead. It's kind of giving you the, um, the nod that, you know, Lady Luck's on your side. The wheel's turning in your favor. And I, I feel like this is something you've put a lot of thought in. It's not something you, you're doing frivolously. It's not something you're doing um, just because all the cool kids are doing it, right? You've given thought to it. Uh, you have, I almost feel like it's something you might have thought about, maybe taking something to the next level, and maybe you're letting it lay for a minute, you're letting it rest for a minute, you're kind of sitting with the idea, you're sitting with this new idea, new thoughts, new communication coming in, you're kind of, um, do I really want to take this to the next level, I was really hurt in the past, or I was really hurt before, maybe this person really hurt you, and I don't really want to go back there, um, you know, I don't really know them. They're not opening up as much as I'd like them to, but we really do get along. It's kind of like this back and forth, right? Knowing that you want this, you're, you're, you're in their intention is devotion. Your intention is to be together. Um, I feel like really Aries, you're figuring all this out. You're figuring all this out, but you have the go ahead from the wheel of fortune to take that risk, take that chance, take that gamble. You know, you spun the wheel. It's lady Lux on your side. And I find it really interesting because on the partner side, there's the Three of Wands and King of Queen of Wands. And then the Explorer of Pentacles. So, first and foremost, the King of Queen of Wands is partnership. I love how they're back-to-back. -back. I love how they are protection, right? He's standing guard that way. She's going to beat up anything this way. Um, and there's, there's an equality to this. There is an uh, um, understanding of the person I feel like um, I'm better at this and you're better at this or you're better at this and I'm better at this so I'll do this and you do this you know there's kind of um, it could be chores that you're divvying up but I feel like it's relationship even you know um, wands are all about passion and desire wands are all about growth and um, creativity and energy it can be your career ideas that you have and partner is forging their way forward they're figuring things out you're figuring things out as you go but you're moving forward you're moving forward in a direction um, especially with the knight of pentacles you have this um, it's a slower energy coming in it could be money it could be um, maybe you're waiting on some type of money to come in before you make something permanent or you make some kind of commitment to each other but, again, the partner's moving ahead. The partner wants this to happen. The partner is very much enthusiastic about it. And uh, money could be not the deciding factor, but money can be a factor. Again, money is coming in, but it's not coming in quickly. So, in the States, we have taxes due now, or taxes. So, maybe it's waiting for somebody's taxes to come in. Um, the The... The wands are fire. There can be a sense of urgency here. I love how this card, you know, not even the same deck, matches these beautiful colors of the fire. And pentacles are earth, you know, they're, they're grounded earth energy. But there's definitely, with the king and queen, there's that understanding. Again, it goes really well with the mirroring. It goes well with the uh, understanding each other, getting each other, wanting to grow together. 
wanting to figure things out together. Right? Hmm. All right, let's see what else we got for you. King and Queen, I, it can be parent, parental, but I really feel that it is you and your partner. Yeah. Um, gates and New Beginnings. I, again, feel that gates are meant to be opened, right? Going through. To me, a gate is going into a new area, going into an unexplored territory. And I feel that if you make a commitment, if you all um, make something official or take something to the next level even, you're crossing a gate, you're crossing a threshold, you're crossing a new area, you're coming into a new area. Um, I feel like you're following your path and your path, you know, goes into the sun and the sun is new beginnings, dawn of a new day. Um, being seeing something brighter seeing brighter days ahead right traveling together doing something together um i feel again with the mirroring it's almost like they you make them have better days and they make you have better days it's like it's like things work both ways right things work work both ways for you all um it's just this beautiful energy of understanding and uh, moving ahead, right? Forging ahead. I just feel that, you know, you all will have each other as you move forward. You all will have each other figuring things out because your intention is devotion. Your intention is, you know, to be together. And there's, I feel, again, with this, the Ten of Swords, I think there can be trust issues. Um, security, I feel like, again, like you're letting yourself fall into a secure feeling. I don't feel it's a false sense of security. I feel like, um, you know, everything, there's things that you don't know about each other, but you're learning. But I feel that you all complement each other with the mirroring. And I feel, too, once this, um, you'll take action on something, maybe when some money comes in or waiting on money or waiting maybe on a paycheck or a payout or something like that with the Explorer Pentacles. Seeing what else, you know, moving ahead, seeing what else life can bring you all. But I feel like with a new beginning in the gates, you will be crossing those thresholds and, and opening those gates together is what I feel, Aries. Moving forward. All right. All right, all right. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay safe and healthy. Be blessed. Aries, know I put out readings mid-month for health, career, finance, and love. If you are interested, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my readings. I thank you so much for watching. And good luck to you all. Um... I feel like this was short and sweet, but it's really just a fast read, this, this is. And um, I, feel, I, feel, I feel that those who this is intended to will get it and understand it and be good with it, right? All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. I will see you again. Happy birthday to those celebrating a birthday in April, and I will see you in May. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye for now.